Also in India, disturbing statistics are emerging about the number of children who are missing in the country. Many end up working as child laborers. Some are forced to work in brothels. CCTV's Ravinder Bhava has more on the crisis from New Delhi. These desperate voices are just a fraction of the thousands of Indian parents looking for lost children. Parents like Raj Kumar have been searching for his daughter for more than four years. She stepped out for ice cream one day and never returned. Mobina and Manzoor carry around the same heartbreak. Their endless trips to the police stations and the courts haven't turned up a single traitor, Yasmin. Memories are all they have left. The problem of India's children continues to grow. According to recent estimates, the number that go missing every day in New Delhi has jumped from 14 to 18. Uh, frankly, this issue is very closely interlinked with, with child trafficking. And the, uh, the criminal aspects of children going missing have to be looked into deeply. It is a phenomenon that occurs mostly in poor areas where there is little or no protection services and a reluctance by the police to register missing persons cases. It is a money giving stream, right? You, you take the child, you get the child in employment, you take cuts and this whole nexus between the employer the trafficker and the police, there are cuts and there are the stream of information which they protect so that it doesn't get leaked out. Activists believe that broad interagency approach is needed to tackle the issue. We need to aware parents because the Delhi is floating population, people are coming from the migrant, so they should know if they will come here, they have to take care for their children. Many children don't get the opportunity to fly. Their young lives are snatched away and they exist only on plaintive placards. Democratic India has failed to protect the rights of its children even after six decades of independence. The onus of this lies not just on the authorities but also on the society which treats its children as secondary citizens. Ravinder Bhava, CCTV, Delhi.